Hey everyone, today we're looking at the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to use my translation, but you can use it to everyone you're familiar with. Jesus says, so pray like this. Our Father who is in the heavens, may your name be holy. May your administration come. May your wishes be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today what we need for today. And forgive us what we owe as we forgive what others owe us. Don't let us be led into a time of testing, but rescue us from the source of evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Amen. So the first thing I would say about this is that Christians should pray the Lord's Prayer. For some, that may not seem that odd or controversial, but uh, it wasn't really part of my experience growing up. We know the early church did, and I think so often we miss out on the gift of prayers that have been handed down from generations before us, and and especially a prayer like this that we know every day is, is prayed by other Christians. So I encourage all of you to make this a part of your practice daily. I I mentioned yesterday that prayer is formative. So the question here is, what kind of people does it form us into? Well, first, I think we see that it it forms people that are focused on the presence of God. As I've said before, when it talks about God being in the heavens, that doesn't mean that God is far away somewhere else. It means God is right here all around us in the air that we breathe at every moment if we'll just pay attention. And so knowing that, it it forms us into people who hope for the union of heaven and earth, that we bring those two together uh, on earth as it is in heaven, right? And so we acknowledge that that the kingdom, God's administration is is in some ways already here, but in some ways it's not yet. And so we live in that tension. And so in the meantime, it forms us into being people of contentment and trust. We trust that today's gifts are enough for today. We trust that we can receive forgiveness, and we trust that we can forgive other people and and we'll be okay. And we trust that evil doesn't get the final word, no matter what happens today. This is a prayer that reminds us that we participate in God's wishes, not that we just wait around for God to make them all come true someday. Right? It's not when we pray this, it's not really just that God would do all these things for us, but that God would form us into the people who do these things. If today on earth things were as they are in heaven, how else is that going to happen except through you by the power of the Spirit?